Back like we never left. What is good, everybody? Today, we're going to tackle a topic of your inner peace and why it needs to be protected at all costs. If you are new to the channel, though, thank you for tuning in. My name is Weave, and here on my channel, we coach you on three important aspects of your life. First, on your personal growth and development. Second, we help to push you forward as you navigate through your respective careers in both business and entrepreneurship. Third, we always help you to strengthen your relationships to make them a longer and more meaningful, lasting relationships. Now, you know how I am. I'm ready to get into this topic. So without any further ado, let's do that. Peace. It doesn't mean to be in a quiet place where there is no noise, trouble, or hard work. It means you are in the midst of those things, yet you are calm in your heart. Life moves at such an incredibly rapid rate, doesn't it? Like one day you're in elementary school, then you're in high school or you're in college. Next thing you know, you're graduating and you're joining the real world. Next thing, you're in a long-term relationship expecting a kid. You're starting a business. You delve into a new career. You buy a house. You move to a different state. It feels like a sprint, right? Yet, it feels like a long marathon at the same time. So when I talk about peace, I'm not speaking to the fact that life will slow down, but I am referring to the fact that along your path, you learn how to calm yourself, how to protect your peace, not just from the moving parts in your life, but from the moving people in your life, causing you possible stress and anxiety along the way. And while you think about what and who that could be in your life, think about what effect that ultimately has when you make like your next big decision. How is your peace affected when you are stressed to the max about how tight your money is for you right now? How is your peace when you're affected when your spouse or your lover gets you riled up in an argument before they left for work today? How is your peace affected when your kids or family member bring up unnecessary drama into your world? It rocks your world, right? Well, here's the reality. You must learn to live in the moment. You know how in the movies, like when the movie pauses and you can hear the voice from the actor or the actress talking about what could happen here, how they could respond in this moment right now, and then they fast forward to the scene and you see how exactly it plays out. I want you to start applying that to real life, to your life. Because so many times we allow our emotions to control our reactions instead of being present with the conversations or the situations we're going through in that moment. We a lot of times just react and don't worry about the consequences of said reaction until later. So here's what I'm asking you to do today. Recognize your frustration level in the moment, during your anger, during your despair, during your stress, during your anxiety. Calm your mind and live in the moment. When you're arguing with your spouse or your lover, when you're angry with a coworker, when you're upset with a guy in a group at school who's not holding up his weight or and like doing their assignment, when your kids act out in public, when your dog poops on your carpet, stop right in the moment and ask yourself, are you going to protect your peace right now in this moment? Are you allowing life to happen or are you trying to control every aspect of it? Yes, you still got a lot of work to do and pay bills. And yes, you will be frustrated. But along the way, the moment exists right now. But question for you. Will that problem still be there even through you yelling and screaming, through you being upset, through you being angry beyond words? Absolutely it will. So protect your peace. Protect what and who you give your energy to. Protect your sanity by not allowing the daily nuances and complications in your life be the deciding factor 
on if you're calm, if you're quiet, or if your peace is affected by all of the madness. And remember this, sometimes, sometimes, to protect your peace, you have to be willing to unplug and to remove yourself from the people, the places, or the things that are creating all of the noise. As always, thank you guys for tuning in today. If no one has told you this today, I appreciate you. If you are new to the channel, become official to the squad. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification on your way out. I appreciate you checking out the video today. I'll be back soon, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace. Thank you.